just here, if I want to, um, and I've got more numerous, I can actually add a caption to this particular image. If I add a caption, the easiest way to do it, I could go to references and find caption there, but easiest way because as you're going along in your document, you want to right click and you want to choose insert caption. Yeah. Why would you do it this way? Because guess what? You can then create a list of figures or a list of tables. So create a little table of contents for all the diagrams or all the charts or whatever you've got in your document. So when we put it in, when we put the caption in, it will say here figure one. Right? <coughs> That's the label there, figure. Yeah, I can choose table or equation and, and as, a, as a matter of fact, I could even make a new label up. So I might call my new label chart. Yeah, and I'll do that in a minute. Um, just here, you can choose where you want your caption to be below the selected item or above. Now, I know that some people have with tables, they have them above and with um, the rest of them, they have below. So it's your choice, but whatever you do, be consistent. Um, exclude label if you didn't want to see the label and this is where you create a new label which I'm not going to look at just yet and here's the numbering if you wanted to change it to be a different number yeah. Um, and if you wanted to include a chapter number now that can be quite handy now th this only works if you have used numbers in your chapters <laughs> doesn't work otherwise <laughs> and you're going to go why not <laughs> so you do the numbering first and then you can do this uh, and you can choose if you want. I don't like the hyphen, so I'm going to go period. Okay, so that's what it will look like, and then I'll type the text. <coughs> Click OK. Now, my caption, can you see it sitting there? It's coming underneath. How, why do you reckon it looks like that? It's not a trick question. Style. Style, that's right. So, again, if I needed to, and I'll just use it from here, it should be in here, I could modify that style here and then the ca caption would look different not blue or whatever so again that's where you would make your changes um, if you are the kind of person who wants to include lots of text underneath then you can just type your text underneath and format that so you could call it caption description that could be a new style yes I was only going to cover this if someone asked so you've asked so the question was can you have text after this, you certainly can have text, but if I type all of this like this, it will be included in the caption in your list, which is not, might not be what you want because it might be really long, and that's your question, isn't it? It might be really long. You can actually fix that by using something called the style separator. You'll need to write that down. It's not in your books anywhere. It's a style separator, and uh, I'll just give you a quick little thing where you would find it, more commands and just go to all commands and look for style separated get it up here in your toolbar there and then you click it and that means that after that point you can use a different style so most people won't necessarily use that but um, that's if you want to have all this uh, extra text and you don't want that to be appear in your list of figures alright let's let, let me do a couple of others in this um, document so you get an idea. Hello. Now I am going to go to a table just to show you what a table looks like. I'm just going. Um, now, oh yeah, I almost forget. Oh no, I'll do it with this one. I almost forget that this is going to show your caption not in a text box. Okay. If you had used any other choice from, if you had used any other choice from here your caption would be in a text box okay that is another floating object that's going to could be moved anywhere that's why I don't like it this gives you control it's in a paragraph I can control it like a paragraph so we go here and again we can do the same thing right click insert caption this time I don't want it to be a figure so I'm going to choose table and And I'll, I'll leave, I won't change the numbering, I'll, I'll, that'll, that'll do. Okay, now we're going to go and insert the list of figures, the list of tables. So, 
let's go back here and insert another say list of figure oops figures references tab insert table of figures click it we get a choice thank goodness <coughs> see down here it's already worked out no it hasn't worked out it's worked out the last one I used was table down here now if you'd created a new kind of uh, caption then you could you would find it in here I'm going to go figure and then that's all I'm going to do and there it is Isn't that amazing list of tables same thing now choose table yeah. these work exactly the same way because they're gray as table of contents yeah you change something you need to update yes you have to pick it up and that's why I ch chose in line so if I go to there was a picture oh, I should have just used my <laughs> what a silly person I am should have just gone like this <laughs> okay so if I want to make sure that this moves I'll pick up both like that that's that's the way to do it and then I can go yep I want it there uh, which did I not you did highlight it. I did highlight it and then it Maybe I'll just go like that. And then some people are less impressed now. Because mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it was really manual. <laughs> yes? The, the pictures seem to have the black dot next to them. Which oh, yeah. Uh, so, what that means, it's got a style attached to it. Oh, okay. That's what the black dot means. So, if I turn this off, you wouldn't actually know that. Yeah. Or oh, actually, this has the style attached to it. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why that one sh that one shouldn't be showing because it's normal. It shouldn't really be showing anything. I'll just clear formatting, and then it's gone. So, yeah, anything. Yes. How do you enter um, a reference into the caption? A reference into the caption. Yeah. Just however you're referencing, you would use EndNote. EndNote. Yeah. 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 Just go to EndNote and oh, okay. say insert caption. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can do that afterwards. I understand. You you don't have to do that in the box. You can do it. Right now, here, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, the next. Oh no, I've forgotten something. Helen, you should have told me. <laughs> uh, I've got about charts. So you all probably have some data, or you might not all have, but you may have some data in Excel or maybe some other uh, data program. You can create charts straight in Word, but frankly, why would you? You probably got your data stored somewhere else. So you're going to copy the chart from wherever the somewhere else is. So if we look at, I'm just going to open a really exciting chart. Yeah, so if we look at this exciting data just here, that's been represented in this chart here in Excel. Okay, look, it's nothing um, outstanding. It's just a sample. So what I would actually do is I would create the chart in the tool of choice. So in this case, in Excel. And then I would right click and go copy and then I would go bring it into my Word document. Now, just to remind you, when you put it in, and I'll just find a good spot. When I put it in, I get a choice here with the Paste Options button, which they've changed in 2010 to be really useless um, because it's got no words. You don't know what any of these things mean <laughs> unless you hover your mouse over them. Um, but basically what it's trying to say to you is some of these options will say if I change my data in Excel do you also want me to change the chart so it's linked it's linking them up together now I think that's a little bit risky because if you're shipping your document around that link is going to be broken then people not necessarily going to have your data and certainly when you're about to publish you don't want to do that what you really want to do is just insert it as a picture and that way you know that's the chart, that's what it looks like. So you would choose this one. Yeah. Um, so that's just charting. 